hi everyone welcome back to my channel welcome back welcome back welcome back to why arise thank you for joining me once again um please don't forget to um like share my videos and also subscribe to my channel okay why arise join me as we rise together on youtube um so today i really want to talk about i know my topic seems to be centered on one thing everything that i most often talked about is often centered on one thing which is <laughs> which is if you are a young person um essentially don't put all your eggs when it comes to um success in life uh, don't focus on one thing to say say only one thing that you think is going to make you successful and i often tell you guys that yes you can have an education get your masters your phd diploma whatever it's all good but don't put your eggs in one basket say a uh, education is the only way i will be to me i am successful in life because there are some college dropouts that have been very successful although not many if they are many we don't hear their stories very much um so i'm not encouraging that don't i'm not encouraging anybody not to go to school school is a wonderful thing if you have school and you have an education it's something to fall back on and you heard you heard me when i said something to fall back on your main goal in life or how or, um, i should say how you're going to be successful in my humble opinion it's not um school education um once you finish your college or your university or your master's or your whatever that because at the end of the day somebody has to look at you and offer you a job okay somebody has to look at you sometimes sometimes it's not even about your experience your knowledge most of the time to be frank with you it's not about your knowledge your experience your skills it's not about any of that it's a matter of somebody looking at you and deciding whether they want you to have a comfortable life or not and they'll offer you the job if they feel like oh this person you you know deserves to have a comfortable life has and then it will have nothing to do with your credentials or how experienced you are take it from me <laughs> okay take it from me um my profession i'm a, I'm a nurse and i've been nursing for 10 years now and men ube to me a rabbit be out home um the other day i was not i was sharing this with a co-worker of mine and i make a chun how uh um and then co-worker you are making to say no or we are school no or we are school no or see two years me in a real school or get it two years or we are nursing school but when you manager position na me she ne or her me how i me see you juma na how i me name dear me ye na obusa me say na me nye hospital and i'm so my hospital juma na me pe hospital ana na me so my ho ejuma but this is a situation why as i say mini ho bi because of certain things and relocation and what not but me ba ha say me try in a certain situation me can the story in the no say that's horrible and i can tell you so ube to mini ho bi aye ejuma your knowledge no crani ls of asi wo mu dia like 20 million times so they question themselves and then they question ah na nipa we yes dey dey na wo ha say na we need some place else what you say so don't do what i did don't put your eggs please don't wait to plan your life and i always tell people i always tell you especially if you're younger don't wait say we be real school now i be depending on somebody so we be my way juma because at the end of the day somebody has to look at you and decide say obema we dwuma no say ni pa no okuta ni boni no ohu how bright you are and by the way in africa for nkwa no okuta ni boni o ba mo nya madwin say 
ade eni boni di african kwa eni boni so wa bru chemro fo no ebi mu so wa ni boni papa o mu dia ndia di bon e mo ni boni no e so pa si africa fo kra de no mm okay enti ma mu nya ma adwen se gana abru eh african kwa na eni boni ye de e wo ho no nya african kwa mro fo so ebi eni eh o mu dia ndia eh super powers o bo akra o mu o mu be o mu be diminish one time what I say? Ain't you know? Obi a hook to anybody. Or shall we star? Or shall how bright you are? I just say, a German or the Bema or Crumple now will be making sure say wood in a one level. And at last time I mentioned, say, Nami knew be a hospital or ye African. Make a tune was that particular hospital now making. This was back in 2014. And make a tune was honum. Now, yeah, yeah, Juma wa ha ya caught four years. And I mean who say first of all, positions ne ba woo who crampo who sa na boom say uh obi ya oh no wa honum bay say two years ago and I saw we school cra no and you na or yeah juma ho cram if I say one year by you know. No mu move up. Ain't you know a juma ne be da honum and na uh me busa girl ne say I didn't see no one apply for a Juma Rena. A buyer, ya, a crayer, you who is sent and sing our way clinicals, I knew our floor, our way clinicals. We are your crumple, me fan is two years, and my no. Why is someone who in your position, we say? Now would they want to apply? And I'll see what I apply. No, I apply, and no, I'm a man. You see what I'm talking about? Say it's not based on credentials, your knowledge, or your skills. Or more pick it who they choose. Now who they choose? Now oftentimes, ne ne ni pa was semi, what and was semi as in terms of what color and yeah yeah they put in plain and f to be frank, yeah in kind of plain and simple. Girl no experience, or experience no, ever eh, knowledge no. But a man fair you mano position supervisor position a man fair mano, ain't you know we are younger please. Think about having something that you can call your own, your own business, your own uh, anything, and don't say it's a one one thing. And I would do any basis say be I will nursing school. Into we are over a nurse, over a nurse. But I who say we we now look like a person like me, Abusa, and say how many of us in you to me call into man managerial positions as a nurse. We be to me I work it for like. Obronia wo ye me fancy wa ye juma for like ten years a won in managerial position no no ye onu no mpe. Na oftentimes with us be before ni de it's because omu ma ye those positions no. In today be a crebia o we a school two years to cram my ube hunu a baby ya o boss. O we a school cra two years in my experience and knowledge ya nu jina house mu mienu mu nye juma na uhu to me use a difference wom. And so no, no a baby ya boss over you. Obe to me, I won't ne. Obe wa mani bana benina mani bana kwa be your boss over you. Ain't you know? People should not. Please, if you are thinking about um success in life, I think about multiple streams of income. Me and me, my advice, no don't think say. Um, me nya eh. Like me a uh, well off or anything like that. If I was, I wouldn't be sharing this story with you, to be frank. Okay? If I was, uh, this wouldn't be my experience. I wouldn't have this experience to share with you. I'm only telling you because it's my experience and it's what I'm currently going through. Think about multiple streams of income. Um, w What business you can do to make income? Ah, and yet, the business, ah, would depend you on be so, be bare. Ebe hire for a job and give you a uh, monthly income at the end of the month. You know? Being self sufficient, multiple streams of income that you're not depending on an employer to one promote you because that promotion may never come, it may never happen. Okay, so think about you having your own business. Please think about this, it's very important. As much as, and I think that's one of the mistakes that we often do, as much as you push your kids to get, to get an education, we forget to tell them that at the end of their education, somebody has to give them that job. And if that person doesn't like you, or if that person thinks that you don't deserve to be in the same class, as in, um, 
class in terms of anything, like a financial class, or they, if they feel like they don't want you to be in the same neighborhood like them, Omo Mawe Jumano, plain and simple. They will not give you that, those higher positions. I bet you know who anyone might not want the same rich neighborhood. No, Omo Mfama. And that's what we forget to tell our parents. Is uh, The parents forget to tell us is that you have to think about how you can be um, self-sufficient in terms of having your own money that employer doesn't pay you for that money. And thank God for platforms like YouTube. You can learn so much. There's so many people that are doing investing, uh, teaching about um, how to invest your money and the, uh, you know, how to how to pick certain if you're in a stock into stocks and stuff uh, how what what's safe what's not safe there's so many people on youtube teaching financial topics and i think that if you if you're young and you look like me and you want to be self-sufficient financially don't think that education is your only option to be financially free um, having financial freedom or being successful because at the end of the day somebody has to look at you and decide whether they want to give you the job or not not even based on your credentials or your skills or your knowledge okay and that's my experience and I'm, i've heard many stories like that so i can't even say so that experience is unique to me alone but it's unique to people who often look like me so food for thought Think about it and um, let's rise together. You know, make pr make plans to change how you look at life, how you look at success. And, uh, you know, let, let's do this together. Okay. Thank you for joining me. Hope you join me next time. Bye.